For many communities, the threat of a wildfire is all too real. Keeping residents safe is a very dangerous job that falls to fire and police. But what if the very first responder wasn't even human? This is the final episode of Mauser's Project First Responders, and it's sponsored by Intel and TE Connectivity. When it comes to minimizing loss of life and property damage, timely information is critical, which is where drones could come in. So let's say we're able to develop this incredible drone technology and be able to share information across platforms. How could a program like this be useful? It would be a great added tool to be able to get eyes on a fire or someone lost in the woods. Another key bit of information is weather, simple wind speed, wind direction, uh, humidity and what fuel types may be in front of that fire. And that would help us react better. So now what we're gonna do is take a look at the potential drone system that they've been working on, which has the capability of monitoring fires and sharing information across agencies in real time. We've got reports of a fire. Launch the drones. I'm going to select these three that are closest. They would canvas and they would send all that data in real time to this screen. So the fire drone here is giving us the thermal image. They want to see through thick smoke. Police are getting their exact GPS location and high definition video. So potentially we could look at the path that the fire looks like it's gonna take and then alert a specific neighborhood the real value is that this allows them to just go street by street. What if I want to change what a drone was doing? You have complete control, so you can override and create your own mission. After 40 minutes, they would head back and recharge. There are apps out there that help tell people when it's time to evacuate. We could incorporate this information. Exactly. So knowing that you had these devastating, fierce fires in 2011, could it have been helpful to have this technology? It would be a great addition to have more information sooner. That could change the game. It absolutely changed the game. We'd like to thank everyone at Lake Travis Fire Rescue for their involvement, as well as our sponsors for this project, Intel and TE Connectivity.